I'm living the whatever the I want life. That's the life I live. Whatever I want, whenever I want. And I have earned that through hard work, through sacrifice, and that's it, through, through victory. If reminders of turning back to Allah come to us, just like they came to Fir'aun through Musa Islam, and he didn't adhere to them, well, if reminders from your mom or from your dad or from you know a, a stranger like me comes to you about praying or turning back to Allah or seeking tell about so on and so forth, and you're not adhering to them, tell me the difference between you and Fir'aun. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And uh, if you don't know by now, this man, Conor McGregor, has officially become a meme. Now, say what you want about him from before with the whole uh, Habib fight and all that, but man has literally now become a meme. Uh, it, I, I don't agree with it. Right? I don't agree with bringing people down or showing people in their lowest of forms. Uh, but I feel like there's a message and a lesson for us to learn from this. And with Ramadan just being, I think now, 75 days away or something. You know, we're approaching the, the two-month mark very soon. Uh, I wanted to also give you a name that resembled this video that can help you remember the 99 names of Allah a little bit more. And you could apply Allah's name a little bit more in this as well too. Um, I'm going to make a comparison of Conor McGregor and, and just see how Allah has humbled him. Allah has literally humbled Conor McGregor. And I want to compare him uh, to Fir'aun. Now, not I don't want to compare him. To, there, there's no one that could be compared to Fir'aun. Let's just be clear over here, okay? A tyrant like Fir'aun won't walk this earth again like what Fir'aun did. Like, he was so bad that Allah has mentioned him in the Quran by name. Like, it's a big deal. Like, he's that bad. But even Fir'aun had hope and the ability to change. And that's what I want for Conor McGregor as well. I want us to all know that the power of du'a is a real thing. And sometimes this is the humbling that people need to turn back to Allah and to realize uh, their own mistakes and realize who they really are. The name that I want to talk about a lot today is the 99 names out of the 99 names. I don't even know what name I'm on today, but the name I'm talking about is Al-Aziz. al Aziz. Now, a lot of us know it as the Almighty, right? Al Aziz means the Almighty, but it's not necessarily just the Almighty. It means the the one who is undefeatable, like undisputed, undefeatable. Like that's that's who it is, right? So when when Conor McGregor, McGregor comes out, he's like the notorious and da 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 da. No 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 no. There's only one undefeated. The, the, he is unable to be defeated. That is Al Aziz and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you are ever going through something in your life where you're feeling defeated, you feel like, man, it's, it's about that time. Call out to Al Aziz. Al Aziz will help you out. These are powerful names of Allah. Let's jump into this video. How is Allah humbling him? Well, let's look at how Allah humbled Pharaoh for a second, you know. You know, Musa al-Islam, a fugitive, once upon a time raised in his house and now became a fugitive. There's a bounty on his head, went back to Egypt, from Madian, and he goes directly to Pharaoh in his court. Pharaoh is shocked, like, you're going to come back over here after all that you've done and you fled and all. He came back. He must have a death wish. One of the biggest downfalls that Pharaoh had was this God complex. And I think that you know, in today's day and age, a lot of people call themselves God, A'udhu Billah, and so on. And um, Conor McGregor is no different. He considers himself like this really powerful being and all that sort of stuff. And I operate on my time. I operate on my own time. And I'm running early on my time. Based on how he's become a meme now, you can tell that there's nothing powerful about the man. He's, he's been, he has a glass jaw. Uh, and he has, he's been humbled many times. But I feel like this time is the most humbling of times. But Allahu Alam. You see, Fir'aun's issue was that he thought he was the supreme. He thought he was Al-Aziz, Astaghfirullah. And Allah had to bring his own, a person that his own hands, his own kingdom raised to defeat him. But he wasn't defeated overnight. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to, he could have. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him time to turn and to change. Hasn't Allah given us time to turn and to change? But what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? All the signs that you know you get to go pray, all those reminders, what are they for? If you're not going to adhere to them, how are you and I any different from Fir'aun? If, if reminders of turning back to Allah come to us, 
just like they came to Fir'aun through Musa Islam, and he didn't adhere to them, well, if reminders from your mom or from your dad or from you know a, a stranger like me comes to you about praying or turning back to Allah or seeking tawbah, so on and so forth, and you're not adhering to them, tell me the difference between you and Fir'aun. Because then comes his second downfall, was his inability to accept the truth. How many times you see Conor McGregor on these, uh, you know, press conferences and just acting all, you know, macho, selling his alcohol, promoting his alcohol over there, and just acting like he's the top dog. Sorry, I'm late. I just don't give up. But Fir'aun had this ability that he would see the truth and just completely reject it. He saw, excuse me, Musa al-Islam bring him the proof. And not just any proof, proof that he wanted. He called his magicians to challenge Musa al-Islam. Musa al-Islam, uh, Musa al-Islam brought the, the same evidence that he used against Musa, but he brought it to Fir'aun and showed Fir'aun, look, you brought this against me. I've shown you this. This is a miracle from Allah, but he still rejected the truth. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. Look at this man, Conor McGregor, on these things, being all arrogant, so on and so forth, rejecting the truth. Understand that, listen, you got to respect your opponent. Respect them a little bit. How many times are you underestimating your opponent? For us, usually the opponent is the shaitan. We think that we're going to be safe. You could be next to that girl. You could talk to that girl. You could talk to that boy. You could, you know, like maybe chat with them privately. You'll be all right. You won't go that far. You know your limits. And this is the point we never want to get to. Where we see the death and the end coming to us. And that's when we accept it. And that's when Pharaoh accepted it. When the water was filling his lungs. It was all in his mouth. That's when he was accepting the truth. And now... You want to accept the truth? Now, Conor McGregor, now that you've become a meme, you know, sometimes these are the moments that humble you, that make you rethink and reimagine, why are you really doing these things? What is this all for? And I want you to ask yourself, why, why are you doing whatever you're doing out there, guys? What, does Allah have to humble you? Does something have to happen to you? Do you have to become a meme before you get humbled out there? Do you have to become like, you know, this whole me, I know people are posting it, making jokes about this. Like, is that what has to happen to you? Does something of yours, your sin has to get exposed before you stop doing a sin? Does your thing has to be blasted on social media before you stop doing the sin? Where the f*** is my second belt? I've already got this one. Where's the second one at? You know, we see Conor McGregor, he's doing the thing as well too. And this is really not about Conor McGregor. It's about you guys. It's about you guys out there. Learn from these people. People admired him. Look at him. He's a meme. And I'm not going to even mention, uh, you know, uh, Khabib because he's honored in his own way. And why does he get honored? Because he honors Allah. He submits to Allah. That's why he's honored. And you have to remember something, guys, that if you think that you're just going to walk on this earth acting all like you're a bad man, you know, that's what they say over here in the UK, you're a bad man. I don't know, I'm not going to try to imitate them. You think you're all bad and stuff like that, Allah will humble you. Fir'aun thought he was a bad man, Allah humbled him. McGregor, is not his name is notorious, like he's supposed to be a bad man. Allah's humbled him multiple times, but this time he's like a meme, bro. He's like a meme. Allah humbled him. Are you waiting for Allah to humble you? We ask Allah to humble us before He has to humble us. Like We ask Allah to allow us to humble ourselves. Put humility in us before Allah humiliates us. We don't want to end up like a meme. We don't want to act like we're some bad people, but in reality, we're just regular plain old Joes, plain old Abdullahs, Walking around, we're servants of Allah, guys. Never forget that. Ramadan is approaching soon. Remember this name, Al Aziz. There's only one Al Aziz, not us. We're her servants. We're Abdul Aziz, right? We're Abdul Aziz. We're servants of Al Aziz. I love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out. <laughs>